Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look now at um, a very powerful tool that can be a little bit intimidating, but it's it's not that difficult. It really is is not, and you can do some lot of really really useful things with it. And uh, it's the one over here, down here, called Curves. If I click on this, you can see here this is what it's like. It's got this thing in the background. This is the histogram, which is like the same up here. This one's just effectively the black and white, everything sort of summed together. And this has got red, green and blue separately. We talk about those four, but in this, for the moment, just ignore it because that's not the important thing. The important thing is this line up here. And the fact that we've got sort of like two lines, we can go this way and we can go up and down this way. And when we go along the line here, this goes from dark here from black all the way through to white and we say that you know we've got black here we say shadows around here mid-tones here highlights here and white up there and it's the same going in this direction as well this goes from black here to white up here and what it is is this is this way is if you like before in other words, as it is in the moment, and this way is after, which is how you're going to change it. And what you can do is you can go to one of these dots here and you can move it around the place. And when you move it, see the picture changes. And that's because when you change it here, if it's like if you, the way to look at it is say anything along here, it goes up here and sort of bounces and goes over there. So when you start off with a straight line, something which is in the middle, goes to the straight line and bounces off and ends up in the middle as well so it's sort of like in the same place. But if I move this one here, so as I'm moving this down here like this for example, I'm going up here, then, so in the middle it goes up here, hits this here and bounces off in this direction so it ends up higher. So middle things here, so this is going to be brighter. So when I'm pulling this over here everything's getting whiter. Uh, it's not actually a good way to, to lighten things up because look, everything here has gone all white. It's what we say is burnt out. So what you normally do is you don't pull the end ones, or you can, and there's more about that at another time. But the easiest thing to do is to go into the middle and see the cursor changes into like a crosshairs. You click and hold that, and then you can move this around. And now you can brighten things up without it causing that white burning effect. In fact, it's quite good, and because when I move this here, and it's because the white's here, before down here, what was white stays white here. It doesn't try to go anywhere else. And similarly with black, things which are black stay black. And I've just got these point, this point here, so I can, if I want to just darken the picture, I just pull it down. And if I want to lighten the picture, I just pull it up. And it'll stay with its pot, and I can click Merge and keep it at any time I like. So if I've got a picture that's a bit too dark, I can use this and it'll control it in a nice sort of reasonable and tidy way. And if you pull it all the way down and everything goes black, and if you push it all the way up, everything goes white. But normally what you do with this, you tend to move it only a little bit. If there's a, you say, well, I don't want that dot there. All you do is you go hover over it till you've got that cross here and click on the right hand mouse button and then that disappears. You can always come back and do another one. And you can put as many as these in as you like, and you can do all kinds of funny things here, and the picture will duly go very strange. If you want to get rid of everything at once, by the way, you can just click on Reset up here. What I'm going to do show here is actually the most fundamental thing that you can do, or what is really a very common thing you can do, apart from just lightening and darkening is that up in the highlights here is you lift up the highlights a little bit like that. So you're making the lights a little bit lighter and it kind of brightens up a picture. But also what you can do is go down to the, down here, the shadows and make the shadows a little bit less. And what you make is like a letter S along there, very shallow one there. And that's called a contrast curve because you're actually increasing the contrast when you do that. And if you want it a little bit lighter, you can pull this one up a bit. And you can sort of move this one down and round a bit till, it, till you can get the right shape. So it gives you a lot of control, which is why it's a very popular thing. 
And when you've got what you want, just click Merge and that keeps it. And then you can print it. You can go to File, to Save, to Export if you want to keep the original and then everything is great. So there you go, curves. Nothing to worry about. Jolly handy. Okay, thank you very much for watching.